Welcome to the garden. Today I'm going to show you how you can identify a ladybug. The most common you'll see nowadays are these Asian lady beetles. They're called multicolored sometimes because they can be anywhere from pale orange to dark red. The native varieties are always going to be that dark red. But that means by color alone you really can't identify them. You want to look at their pronotum. It's a little shield shaped apparatus at the neck just below the head and it's always going to have a big pronounced M or W shape. So on these ones here we can see they're definitely Asian lady beetles because of that M shape. The native varieties will have more of a top hat kind of shape, a little black top hat. So that's really how you want to tell. The Asian lady beetles can have anywhere from zero upwards of 21 spots. So by counting the spots you could get up to seven like these ones or nine like these ones or eleven like these. So really not a great identifier by the spots alone. You really want to look at that pronotum. So once you've identified whether it's an Asian lady beetle or a native variety then you can start counting the spots. So on these ones, the seven spotted, you'll have three on each side. They're always going to be symmetrical and then one right in the center. These are really common in Europe where they call them ladybirds. The nine spotted are one of the rarest ones you'll see. It has four spots on each side for a total of eight with one right in the middle to get to nine. Another one you might find is the parentheses. This one has spots that are fused. They're so close together that they look like little parentheses. We can see a little bit of that on this Asian one. You can see the spots are so close together that they kind of fuse. That's what you're looking for. But this one has that M or a W on its pronotum, so we know that this one is the multicolored Asian lady beetle. All of these are the same species but they have such variations. Some of them are dark red with tons of spots. Some of them are more pale orange. This one basically doesn't have any spots. There might be a couple little pseudo spots there but it's basically none with pale orange in that very pronounced M. So this really checks all the boxes when it comes to identifying an Asian lady beetle. The last one you can watch out for is known as the convergent. These are fairly common here in North America and their pronotum has rather than the top hat or the M it has these kind of white ovals almost like false eyes and then I think they have like 11 spots but really you want to look at that pronotum if it's got the little ovals then it's the convergent if it has the little top hat shape then you can count the dots to see if there's seven nine or whether they're fused like the parentheses and whenever you see one with that M shape it's gonna be that Asian lady beetle. These things are behaviorally quite different than the native varieties. They can be a little bit aggressive and they've been actually known to bite people. They also hibernate which means they find little cracks in your house and they can get in and live in the walls over winter and come into your home which can be really a nuisance. You can vacuum them up if they're inside or spray them with a hose if they're collecting on the outside of your home and kind of get rid of them that way. But they can actually secrete a yellow liquid when they're under stress and that can cause allergic reactions in some people. So they're kind of a nuisance because of those behavioral traits. I'm going to be looking for ladybugs all year. And I really want to see if I can find some of the native varieties. The best place to check is on a plant that's infested with aphids or scale insects. They'll actually lay their eggs on those kind of plants. So if you see an infestation, as long as it's not on your vegetables, maybe just leave it there and see if you can identify some ladybugs. So they'll lay their eggs next to the aphids so that when the eggs hatch they have something to eat right away. They can lay like up to a thousand eggs, but they're actually so rare because the multicolored Asian lady beetle has just basically taken over. 
they fill that same niche. So they've actually outcompeted the native varieties. So I'm going to be on the lookout all summer long for these ladybugs. If we can find any of the native varieties, I'll be really happy. But they're probably going to be really rare, so it might be quite a challenge. We might see a lot of those Asian lady beetles, especially around autumn, when they try and squeeze into your house to hibernate. But the best place to check is on any plant covered with aphids or scale insects. So we'll keep an eye out for those. Just remember to check that pronotum. Because on the Asian lady beetles, it's always going to have that pronounced M or W shape. So I really hope you give this a grow this summer. Thank you all so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.